Hi guys, I'm Alex. Welcome to Beginner Yoga with me. Um, welcome Long Beach. Welcome Atlantic Avenue. Welcome good friends, maybe my sister and my pals from Darien High School or Adelphi, who knows. Um, great to be here. Um, it's been a long month of quarantining. So to say the least, this is what I look forward to every day. And after posting a couple of other videos, um, um, some friends reached out to me and asked that I actually do something for beginners. Because what a great time to start learning about yoga right now when you've got nothing else to do. So um, I invite you all to enjoy and learn. Um, I will actually do a series of different classes so that we'll start at some of the beginnings and then we can sort of build on to that. So I hope everyone has a mat. If you have a blanket, that's great. Fold it up so you have a little bit of width in your blanket. Um, that, you, that can be used as a comfortable seat. If you need to, if it's hard to sit on the ground, please sit on something firm. Maybe you have a chair or a bench that you can sit on, um, something that's supportive of you so that at least when we're stretching out, you can feel in the body what I'm talking about. Otherwise, come on down, have a seat. Comfortable seat, usually Indian cross legs is fine. And of course, there's a lot to know about yoga. Um, so I wanted to start just by reading a couple of things that I think encompass some of the essence of yoga. The first one is actually by BKS Iyengar. Iyengar is the practice that I've learned and that I'm trained in. Um, he says, yoga does not change the way we see things. It transforms the person who sees. So yoga does not change the way we see things. It transforms the person who sees. And no, you're not going to feel that today. Trust me. <laughs> but if you keep practicing, if you keep coming back to your breath and to yourself and to your mat, you will eventually feel that. Um, one of the other teachers of mine is the very great Rodney Yi. And he has a quote in his book that I love a lot and I would like to share with you. This is his book. <laughs> Yoga is meditation in movement. It's not a competitive sport or an elitist art form. And being present during your practice means allowing yourself to be aware of whatever physical sensations, emotions, or thoughts are currently arising. If you cultivate an attitude of curiosity rather than ambition and competitiveness, you will not only find it easier to motivate yourself to practice, but you will be able to be more observant during the times when you do practice. Um, as you all know, yoga is very much about being present to who you are, learning about who you are. Um, the movements can be very difficult. And part of that is getting closer to your mind because you're getting out of your mind, so you're getting better into your body and you're feeling the sensations that are in your body. Um, I hope that you can feel that. So just to start, I'm not gonna bother with an ohm or anything like that. I think one of the most important things that yoga has taught me is to be grateful. Um, and sometimes, especially during times like this, it's very difficult to find gratitude every day. So I try to sit and at least dedicate my practice coming into um, what we call like a prayer, you know, prayer hands in front of my heart and you press into your breastbone and raise your chest. You close your eyes 
And let's just start with thinking of things that we're grateful for. And you can say them silently to yourself. And place your hands back down. Thank you for doing that. It's really important to be grateful right now for even just the coffee that we drink in the morning and being surrounded by people we love and our family and friends. So let's just remember that. Okay, let's start our yoga. The first thing that I wanna do is in your cross-legged seat or if you're sitting on an actual you know, chair or table, take your legs out so you're sitting just at 90 degrees. And what I want you to do is just start moving your pelvis. So your pelvis is the frontier and your sacrum is the big bone across the back of your butt. And I want you to just do these tilts with your pelvis. So you should be feeling your butt bones on the ground. And just tilt your pelvis. And now in yoga, we use this all the time. I mean, I'm literally gonna talk about it all the time. So this is one of the first key things you want to understand. The pelvis is in the front and we like a soft pelvis. The sacrum, we want to be open. So this is a tucked pelvis, which turns us into this hunchback. And then this is an open pelvis, which gives us this nice open chest. And now remember, stomach is tight, chest is high. So don't let that go while you're doing this. This is also a really great way to create heat in your body just to get yourself warmed up and it's helping that spine warm up also. So now as we go a little bit deeper, we go into what's called cat pose. And I'm doing this in a seated position. We'll do it in a different position next. Cat pose where I'm totally rounding the spine like a cat does. And then cow pose is when I'm shining my clavicles and my chest forward and I'm letting my sacrum open up to the back or my pelvis completely loosen up and tilt back. And then I do cat pose and I do cow pose and cat pose and cow pose. And now let's bring our breath into this. So as you come forward, round your back, exhale. And then as you come forward in, into cow pose, inhale and exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And now just to get some stretch and take your arms over your head, grab your left wrist and just pull, opening up the side of the body. So you really wanna feel this rib cage opening. And now see if you can take your breath and actually breathe into the left side, the left rib cage. Focus, 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 and exhale. And then come back up, take your right wrist and your left hand, pull over to the left side. And now see if you can inhale and really focus that breath, opening up this side of the rib cage. And relax back down. Take your left hand to your right knee and take your right arm behind you and just do a gentle twist. Very, very gentle. Keep the elbows wide and open and slowly look back over your right shoulder and inhale and exhale. This is called a simple seated twist. Now your right hand comes to your left knee, your left arm goes to the back, bend the elbows out and just slightly turn, looking back over your left shoulder, inhale and exhale. Simple seated twist. So now you've learned two things, cacao and simple seated twist. And now if you can, we're gonna do a forward fold. So when you're looking at a forward fold, you wanna tuck in the stomach, but let the pelvis go out and just walk your hands forward. Keep your chest high. Just a little bit. See if you can feel that in the backs of your legs. And inhale and exhale. And while we're here, just keep your face very, very calm. So you don't wanna hold any stress in your forehead or in your jaw. 
Relax your tongue, relax your neck. Bring your chest forward. Hi guys. I see you Tamara, I see you Mike. I see you Kevin, I love it. It's so great, you guys are making me smile so much. And come on and walk it back. And now take the blanket out from under you. Scoot that off to the side. And come on to all fours. So all fours is a big thing in yoga. It's a great way to warm up. So when you come to all fours, and here I'm gonna do it for you this way. You wanna make sure that your shoulder is over your elbow, is over your wrist. And you wanna make sure that your knees are under your butt and that your waist is long and you're nice and straight. So your stomach is tucked and tight here. And now we're gonna do our cat cows. You can have your toes actually tucked under for this. It'll support you better right now. So now we're just gonna move our pelvis just like we did sitting. When we pull the pelvis in, we go into a cat pose. When we push the pelvis, when we soften the pelvis and open up the sacrum, we actually go into a cow pose and we lift our chest. So let's just do it from, this, from our pelvis right now, going in and out. So just getting that tilt, keeping the stomach in, not moving the head, nice and easy. And now let's go into a full cat. So press your hands into the mat. Really cat up your back. Tuck your chin in. Pull your belly tight into your body. Inhale. And then as you weave yourself out, pushing the sacrum out, lifting the chest. Exhale. And then inhale, push through your arms, cat the back up, and exhale, cow pose. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. And just do that two more times with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. It's a great way to warm up the body. Cat cow. And last one, just come to regular. And come and have a seat right here. Now, ready to come to standing poses? Okay, come on. So shake it all out. Come to the front of your mat. So the first pose is called mountain pose. And what you're gonna do is take your feet just a little bit apart, maybe one inch. You can also have your feet directly together, but sometimes that feels a little more advanced. So have your feet just about an inch apart. Open up the toes and just move around so you can feel that your weight is across all of your foot. So you feel it in your toes, you feel it in your heels, just move around and then find that perfect middle ground. Pull up the knees, soften the groin, tuck the stomach and the rib cage in, lift the chest, take the arms out, palms out. This is called mountain pose or Tadasana. This is where we begin. Inhale, and exhale. Again, face is soft, jaws released, legs are strong. Inhale, and exhale. Next pose, we're gonna lift our arms out and up. Pull up through the rib cage, lifting the rib cage off of the waist. So try not to do it with your shoulders, but try to actually do it with your waist. Look up to your thumbs. Inhale and exhale. Volcano pose. Long waist, reaching through your arms as high as possible. Legs are strong. Inhale and exhale. 
volcano pose. Now take your arms out and start to fold over in front of you. Bend your knees if you're not that flexible in your hamstrings. And in fact, since we're just beginning, let's just bend our knees anyway. So bend your knees and bring your hands to the mat. Either come onto your fingertips or bring your hands all the way down flat on the mat. And now release your head and neck and shake that out just a little bit. Keep your chest as close as you can onto your knees and your thighs. Okay, and let it fold over, hands on the ground, pushing the sacrum up to the ceiling, releasing the neck, forward fold. Now come back up, hands on the hips, push your butt down, release, mountain pose. Let's go through that again. Mountain pose, inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up, volcano pose. Reach up to the ceiling. Extend the arms out and down. Fold forward over your legs. Bend your knees if you need to. Release the neck. Forward fold, exhale. Bring the hands to the hips and push back up. And now moving on. Bring your hands down, chest high. Legs strong underneath you, grounded through the feet. Inhale, reach up, volcano pose, lifting through the waist. Reach your arms out, exhale, fold forward over your feet. And now take your right foot back and take your left foot back and come into a plank pose. For those of you that this might be difficult, go ahead and put your knees down on the ground. But if you can hold a plank, ideally what you wanna do is have your legs strong. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Your legs are strong. Your elbows, your shoulders, and your wrists are right underneath each other. Butt is squeezed, tummy is tucked, chest is forward and you're looking about two feet in front of you. This is called plank pose. And now if you're on your knees, keep the same thing in mind. Pull the heels up so you're squeezing your hamstrings, squeeze the butt, tummy's tucked, and make sure you're over your elbows, your wrists, and your shoulders. And now you're going to bend the elbows and come down to the ground. Place the hands by the chest, lift the chest up, keeping the neck long, so you're looking about 12 inches in front of you. Pull the elbows to the spine, cobra pose. And now push back onto all fours. Walk your hands back up to stand. Release your butt, come back up, Tadasana. So let's go through that. Come into Tadasana, inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up, volcano pose. Exhale, fall forward, reach forward, hands onto the ground, exhale. Take your right foot back, your left foot back, and come into plank pose. Tuck your stomach, legs are strong, chest is high, look forward. Bend your elbows and come all the way down to the ground. Release the toes, press into the ground. Hi, Daisy. Mwah. Put your hands to your chest and lift up, chest up, neck nice and relaxed and extended. Cobra pose. And come back to all fours and walk your feet to the front, forward fold, hands on your hips, push the buttocks flush down, come up, Tadasana. So now we're halfway through, so here we go. Tadasana, mountain pose. Reach your arms up, volcano pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, reach the arms out, fall forward, fold, Uttanasana. 
Step your right foot back, your left foot back. Come to plank pose. Bend your arms lower down to the ground. Push the feet, push the hands, reach the chest up. Elbows tuck in, cobra pose. Next, push up into all fours. Tuck the toes behind you. Keep the knees bent, push the butt up. Push through your front arms. Release the neck and push into a bent knee, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Look forward. Walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold. Take your hands to the back. Push the buttocks flesh down. Come to stand. Tadasana. So that, my friends, is your first sun salutation. Congratulations. Surya Namaskara A. Very easy. Let's do it two more times. This time I'm just going to go right through it to get your heart beating and get you moving. Ready? Tadasana. Mountain pose. Inhale. Volcano pose. Urdhva Hadasana. Exhale. Fold forward. Uttanasana. Step your right foot back, your left foot back. Come to plank. Bend your elbows close to your body. Come up to cobra pose. Push back through all fours. Tuck your toes, bend your knees. Push back into downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. And come to walk forward. Forward fold. Exhale. Hands to hips, push the buttocks flesh down, inhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Volcano Pose, exhale, fall forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Step your left foot back, your right foot back, come to Plank Pose. Slowly lower to the ground, keeping the elbows tucked into the body. Push the toes into the ground, lift the chest forward. Keeping the neck long and relaxed. Push back to all fours. Tuck your toes underneath. Push your butt high. Now really push through those arms, really reaching that middle body long. Let your neck relax and hold. Receiving an inhale and an exhale. And now look forward. Walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Hands come to your hips. Push the buttocks flex down, Tadasana. Now, moving on. I have two more poses I want to get to. So, step out long on your mat. First, we're going to do warrior one, then we're going to do warrior two. Next week, we'll do warrior three, and we'll do triangle pose. So, but today, warrior one, warrior two. So what you're going to do, back foot, your left foot, turn it in about 45 degrees, and then take it out a little bit, say like two inches out to the front. Turn your front foot out to 90 degrees. Take your hips, pull them so that they're square. So basically, I'm just going to make my, my um, stance a little bit shorter here. So you really want your, your right hip pushing back, okay? Right hip pushing back, left hip coming forward. Now, push into that back foot. So lift your chest. Feel the weight going down into your back heel. Take your arms out to the sides. Bend the front knee. Look and make sure the knee is tracking between the two front toes, the big toe and the first toe. Make sure the weight is still in the back heel. Chest lifts, arms lift, eyes, look at your thumbs, 
Inhale, exhale, warrior one. Take your arms out, straighten your leg, turn your feet back out, and relax your arms down. Now we're going to take that on the other side. So take your right leg, step it far out onto your mat. Take the right foot, turn it in 45 degrees. Take the left foot, turn it out 90 degrees. Now take your back leg and just move it out an inch. Take your hips and square them off. So the left hip is pulling back, externally rotating, while this front hip is internally rotating. So you're pulling this way. Now, with the lift of your chest, push back into the back heel. So you wanna feel all the weight in your back heel. Take your arms out to the side. Now slowly bend the front knee, keeping your chest high, keeping your stomach zipped in. Back leg is strong. Look down, make sure that your knee is right in between your big toe and your first toe. Lift the arms up, look up to the thumbs, inhale, and exhale, warrior one on the left side. And take the arms back, straighten the leg, parallel the feet, heel toe them in, and come to the front of your mat working on warrior two. Step the left foot out, parallel the feet. The left foot turns in 15 degrees. So not very much, only a little bit. Right foot turns out 90 degrees. Take your arms out to the front and to the back. Pull the back arm to the back wall or to the back of your mat, lifting the chest, pushing the weight into the back foot and the heel of the back foot. Stomach is in, tight, strong. Now bend the front knee. If you can get to 90 degrees, great. Keep your eyes soft. Keep your face soft. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Straighten that right leg. Bring the arms down, parallel the feet. Heel toe them in and come to the front of your mat. Take the right foot, step it out long. Take the back foot, the right foot, in 15 degrees. Take the left foot out 90 degrees. Take the arms out to the sides. Reach the back arm to the wall so it lifts your chest up and pulls you deeper into the back heel. Then take your arm forward. Look over the middle finger. Slowly bend the front knee. Inhale and exhale. Warrior two. And straighten that leg, parallel the feet, pull them in together and come to the front of your mat. Let's go through that from the very beginning. Tadasana, mountain pose. Strong, legs are grounded. Reach up, inhale. Reach through the ribs to the ceiling. Look at your thumbs, inhale. Volcano pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. 
Step the right foot back, the left foot back, come into plank, look forward, face is soft, butt squeeze, legs are strong. Bend the elbows into the body, slowly lower to the ground. Take your hands by your chest, push into the feet, lift the chest forward, cobra pose. Push back through all fours. Untuck your toes. Push your hips back. Now through the fingertips and the knuckles of the hands, push back. Really lengthen that waist. And push back into a downward facing dog. Come forward. Lift the right knee up. Place the foot in between the hands. If the leg doesn't come through, say it only comes through here, take, take the foot with your hand and bring it forward. Bring the left leg back, turn it in 45 degrees, push up, arms come out, square the hips, bend the knee so it tracks over the two front toes, Push into the back heel, raise the chest, take the arms out and up, reach for the ceiling, look at your thumbs, warrior one. Take the arms out, parallel the feet, heel toe, come to the front of your mat, exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, volcano pose. Reach for the ceiling. Exhale, arms go out. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Step the left foot back, the right foot back. Come to plank pose. Again, you can put your knees down. Bend the elbows, keeping them in close to the body. Come to your belly. Tuck the toes, press into the ground. Lifting the chest. Keeping the elbows pinned next to the body. Neck is relaxed and released. Push through all fours. Tuck the toes. Let me actually show you from the side. Tuck the toes. Push the butt, the sacrum, up to the ceiling. Now push back through the arms, lengthening that waist. Downward facing dog. Slowly move a little forward, lift the left leg up, pull it through to the front of your hands. If for some reason it's stuck here, take it and lift it to get between your hands. Turn the back foot to 45 degrees. Slowly make your way up, push into the back heel. Take the arms out to the side, lift the chest, tuck the stomach in, pushing further into the foot. Now come forward, make sure that knee is over the front toes. Take the arms up, look up, reach up, warrior one. And bring the arms down. Parallel the feet, heel toe together, come to the front of your mat, Tadasana. Now we're going to add in warrior two, mountain pose, exhale. Inhale, volcano pose, reach up, exhale, reach out, forward fold, Uttanasana. Right foot back. Left foot back, come to plank pose. Slowly lower, elbows into the body. Place the hands to the chest, push the toes into the mat, lifting up the chest, not using your hands, just using the middle of the back behind the bra line. Push through all fours, tuck your toes, Lift your hips, push through your arms, downward facing dog. 
lift the right leg forward between your hands, low lunge. Now turn the back foot to 45 degrees. Slowly come up, push into that back foot, lifting the chest, butt is strong, stomach is, is zipped up here, arms come out, bend the knee forward, make sure it's tracking over your two front toes, reach the arms up, warrior one, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, exhale. Reach the arms out, straighten that front leg, turn your feet to parallel, bring your hands to your waist. Take the left foot, turn it in 15 degrees. Take the right foot, turn it out 90 degrees. Turn the hip, so pull the right hip back and the left hip forward. Bend the knee in between the front two toes to 90 degrees. Take the back arm, reach to the back of your mat, pressing into that back heel. Turn your front palm down and forward. Look over your middle finger. Warrior two. Inhale. And exhale. Straighten that leg, parallel the feet, heel toe the feet, come to the front of your mat. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Volcano Pose. Exhale, fall forward, sorry, fold forward, Uttanasana. Step the left foot back, right foot back, come into plank or come to your knees. Bend the elbows, come down to the floor. Point the toes, push into the ground, keeping those legs strong. Lift the chest, tuck the elbows in. Neck is long and relaxed. Cobra pose. Push back through all fours. Tuck the toes, push back into a bent leg downward facing dog, pressing through the thumb and forefinger through your arms to make your waist long, hips high. Pull the left foot forward in between the hands. Use your hand to help if you need to. Turn the right foot in about 45 degrees. Come up. Push into that back leg as you lift the chest. Squeeze the butt, push into the back heel. Take the arms out. And now slowly move that knee forward right between the big toe and the first toe. Lift the arms up over your head, reach to the ceiling. Warrior one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take the arms out long, straighten the leg. Pull the foot in, parallel your feet, bring your hands to your hips. Take the right back foot, bring the toes in 15 degrees. Turn the left foot out, long, take the hips, turn them. So pull this left hip back, letting this right hip come forward slightly. Take the right arm back as if you're reaching to the back of the mat pushing into the back heel, which is helping you lift your chest. Take the left arm forward, bring your nose down, look over in between your middle finger, bring your knee down into 90 degrees, keeping that back leg strong. Inhale and exhale. Warrior two, inhale and exhale. Straighten your leg, 
parallel your feet. Bring your feet in. Come to the front of your mat. Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So I just want to go over really, really quickly what we got through today. So we did Surya Namaskara A, which is Sun Salutation A. Normally this can be done five to 10, even 20 times in one day. It's a really wonderful way to start really learning how to breathe with your yoga practice. You know, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Um, and we learned a lot of poses today. So you learned what an easy seat was. You learned what a simple twist is. You learned cat cow, right? Very, very important. You learned mountain pose, learning how to ground your body and let it relax into the earth. You learned volcano pose where you reach up. You learned the forward fold Tuck in that stomach, fold over the legs. You learned plank. And now we'll go deeper into exactly what this is. This is actually called Chaturanga, but you go down to the ground, you learned Cobra, which is wonderful for the back, especially the back of the neck, because we're always looking at our phones and looking down. This is a pose you should do every day. You learned how to push back into a downward facing dog. And then you learned warrior one and warrior two. And there's so much more to do, but I think that that's enough for today. Um, why don't you come and lay down on your mats? I'm actually gonna turn my mat so you can see. Actually, I'll leave it right there. So what you're gonna do, take your, take your feet out to the very edges of the mat, let your legs tuck in, take your arms out, Wrap them across your body. This is called constructive rest. And just inhale and exhale. This is letting your hips settle back down into the ground, into their sockets. It's letting your arms and your shoulders settle back into their sockets. Finding your breath again, letting it relax. And now take your arms open and bring the other arm over the top and just let them drape. Let the whole body sink and relax into the mat. And now take your legs out long and strong, flex the feet, really pull the legs out, take the arms up and over the head, reaching through the arms, lengthening the waist, pulling through the heels of the feet, and let the belly just sink. This is called Tadagi Mudra, or Pond Pose. It's another neutral pose that helps let your body settle and relax back into its natural curves. And relax down. Slowly roll over to your side. I am going to take you through a Shavasana. So please lie down on your mats, um, close your eyes. I'm going to turn off some of my lights here. If you want a blanket underneath your knees, if you want a blanket underneath your head, or maybe you would prefer having a blanket over your body, um, lie down. This is called corpse pose. This is a beautiful place. You should lie in corpse pose or Shavasana every day for two minutes at least, give yourself that. It's just pure relaxation. So please come into Shavasana right now. It looks just like this. Legs relaxed, feet fall open, arms relax open, shoulders relax, and just let it all drop. You stay there. I'm going to walk you through a body scan. Oh, you can't really 
really see me if I do that. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Hi, Sue Russo. Hi, David. Hi, Maria. Oh my God, I love you guys. Mwah. Um, relax. Feel the gravity behind your skull, supporting it. Let the skin of your forehead fall down past your ears, like it's dripping down into the ground. Relax the nose and the nostrils. Maybe you can feel the air on the tip of your lip. Let the tongue relax to the bottom of the mouth as the jaw just slowly opens. Feel the relaxing of the throat. No need for talking. Let the shoulders feel supported by gravity and the ground below you. Release the tops of your arms, your forearms, the backs of your palms. Feel the cup of your hands, all of the fingers. Feel the back being supported by the firmness of the ground and gravity. Let the hip bones relax, the stomach is relaxed. The rib cage is soft. Your hip bones are open, settled back into the sockets. The femurs, the quadriceps are relaxed the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, your knees, your calves. Feel the skin in the backs of your feet, the arch, and all of the toes. When you inhale, feel air coming through your head to your throat, through your heart, to your stomach, to your hips, through your knees, all the way down to your feet. And when you exhale, feel it from the tips of your toes, releasing up the front of the shins, the back of the calves, the hamstrings, the butt, the back of the spine, and releasing out the front of your chest. Do that one more time. Inhale through the top of your head, bringing it through your chest, through your stomach, through your hips, the fronts of your legs, the fronts of your thighs, and the tops of your feet. And now exhale, releasing from the tips of the toes through the knees and the hamstrings and the hips and the butt and the back and feel it pushing out through the top of your chest. and try to relax 30% more. And slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Don't startle your body. You want it to come back just very calmly, very easily. Bring in your inhale and your exhale. Maybe wiggle your ankles and your wrists. Pull your knees into your chest, hug them. Let them fall over to your right side. Take your head into the arm, 
Release the neck on the right arm and let the left arm just fall and drop onto the floor. So it's completely relaxed and your belly is just, just releasing into the ground. One last minute of just complete let go. And with total reluctance, not using your head at all, slowly push yourself up, keeping your neck down, keeping your eyes closed. Come to a comfortable seat. Maybe it's cross-legged. I like sitting on my heels. Lift the neck up last. Keep the eyes closed. Lift the chest, palms on the legs. Roll the shoulders back. Bring your hands to heart center, pressing your thumbs into your heart. And let's just bow our heads. We're all together in this quarantine situation. We're all struggling in our own ways. But just know that we're all here for each other. Take a moment for yourself every single day so that you can give back to somebody that might really, really need you. Be here for yourself. You just did a wonderful, wonderful thing for your own body and your own health and your own mind. May all those be happy and healthy and free. Namaste. Which means the light in me sees the light within you. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so happy to see so many faces. It was really great. I just, it was really wonderful. Thank you so much. Peace. See you guys later.